Alrighty, so today we have an adrenaline inducing high roller run definitely had me on the edge of my seat while I was playing and I hope it keeps you at yours as well. Uh, we're going to be doing some commentary over the video of my decision making and thought process. Uh, so let me know down in the comments uh, what you liked about the commentary and what I didn't go over if I missed anything. All right, so like always before every fight, uh, whenever I hear enemies, I'm always going to apply a blue pot uh, just in case I get hit, you know, just to give me more effective HP. I'm going to pop haste and invis so that I can get close. And we're going to use this corner right here to be able to fireball the fighter without getting shot for free by the ranger. Um, if you're playing any class with ranged, uh, you want to try to, especially in solos, you want to try to isolate the fights. You'll see me turning anytime that there's an archer because if you turn... It is a less damage multiplier on the limbs. Uh, so, kill the ranger. Uh, thankfully, so we're going to put our weapon away after we haste in order to get just a little bit more movement speed so we can outrun the rogue uh, to provide some spacing and try to get a health pot off. Uh, I don't know what happened to my invisibility there, but we'll try that again. He's looking around for me and the mob's distracting him. He's actually doing some pretty good dodging. I don't have any fireballs, so I'm trying to play where I get as much space as possible. He does some good dodging here, manages to land an arm strike on me, and then the skeleton bro saves the day. Holy shit. Oh, that's one way to get the blood pumping. Holy shit, okay. All right, so I definitely, um, so I heard some players here nearby. Um, so I'm doing the standard pop a blue pot, pop haste, and then pop invis. Uh, if you're playing a wizard, if you pop invis and then haste, you'll decloak yourself. Uh, so that's why the order is blue pot, haste, invis. Uh, I decided against pushing those guys there because if there was, I was going to have to deal with the spider. Um, spiders are actually very easy to get caught on them. I saw that ranger. Um, I typically don't like to engage rangers in sharp corners like that. Um, Especially if there's a lot of ads nearby. I saw a team in here that was probably campfiring because they were all sitting down. So I throw a fireball just to get some damage out. Uh, this guy actually pushes me, so I put my book away for more movement speed. And currently here, I'm looking for any kind of open doors. Just to possibly get an escape here. I heard him fighting the skeleton behind me, so I could have turned on him, but I know that he has a team. They're probably all in the middle of healing. And if I stayed to try to fight, the zone's pushing in, it would have gotten rough fast. So I come out here in the hallway, that ranger uh, pushes from before, so we're going to do a little peek here. And then anytime uh, that you feel like a ranger is about to shoot at you, crouching, turning away, and then physically moving your mouse down, can help mitigate those damage if they shoot your arms. So his, uh, his buddy decides to come after me into the zone. Um, I know that... I have a surgery kit here, so I'm just going to pop a red pot and then just kind of sit in the zone. Um, the zone's not something that you have to always push in the moment it pushes up, as long as you have the meds for it. I'm just letting this skeleton just kind of like swing at me for fun. I'm just dodging and looking down to the right, just away from the swings, and then we're going to go back in. We see a guy looting. Probably already low, probably just trying to loot his buddy or like loot a kill from the zone. We don't really have time, we're a bit low on HP. There's still the possibility of other players to buy, so I'm gonna go ahead and just move on over. over here. I started to spam, like the typical way to heal is to use a health potion and then bandages while the health potion is ticking. Um, and then I noticed that there was actually a surgery kit, and so I was like, oh, well, I'll just stop and then I'll just pop that whenever I'm done meditating. Um, 
The adrenaline one's definitely pumping here for me, <laughs> so I am uh, was mainly focused on surviving and not trying to get greedy with the loot. As a wizard, it's important to always meditate whenever you have the opportunity to do so, because nothing sucks more than having to burn spells on monsters and then not having any left over for PvP. I would say that the fireball or some similar AoE spell like chain lightning is the important are the most important ones to actually save for combat. Um, magic Missile is something that I typically will use against the monsters so that I have Fireball ready uh, for PvP. Magic Missile, you're pretty stationary when you're using it. Fireball, you can kind of, you know, you can strafe, you can jump around um, and launch them out. I doubled back over here to kind of see if it would be worth trying to go behind them to try to get some kills, but there was that skeleton in the way, so I decided I was just going to play for my life. Do another meditation here. Uh, in order to stay on top of our spells. Wizards are the utility class of the game. You want to have, make sure uh, that you have all of your spells at high slots as possible. An important thing about the meditation for wizard is it gives you back all of your spells at the same, essentially like the same rate. Some of the spells recharge faster than others, but if, for example, if you use all of your spells and then rest, you'll most likely get one charge of all of them back, maybe a few charges of the like easier spells. But if you use, for example, five magic missiles, you may only get one or two back. So it's important to utilize not just one spell, especially if you're doing damage, um, using like... I'll, I'll typically try to do like two magic missiles, and then I'll do like a fireball to kind of mix it, mix it up. This just um, this guy was just unfortunate. It was just in between two mummies trying to heal up. I tried a haste here to give myself movement speed, but I didn't look away. So. And at this point, I'm just focused on burning down the mobs. So I can get it. It's important to keep track of the swarm timer. Because if you get towards the end, the game is just going to end. So I'm desperately trying to find a blue portal. Um, I know that the boss arena is pretty dangerous. And there's a possibility that other people have already used the blue portals and I may have to go down. Uh, but lucky for me, I see my salvation. Didn't even bother um, <laughs> doing any quick loots before the end. Holy shit. Get out of here. All right, and that's going to be a wrap on the video. Uh, like always, if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like and uh, let me know down, down in the comments um, if you have any feedback that you'd like to give me um, on how to improve my commentary um, or what kind of videos you would want in the future um, in relation to guides or anything of that nature. Cheers.